Hey everybody, welcome to uh, my second review for tonight. And uh, tonight I decided on retesting Kingsoft Antivirus um, 2011. When I first tested uh, this antivirus, it was um, in beta. So um, this is their final version. I went to their um, website, grabbed a copy of it. And we're going to open up the main interface here. You can see. Um, I just I haven't scanned here, but it is updated. So it should. Uh, it's checking to make sure everything is good. So there you go. Um, this is a free antivirus, of course. So you get uh, defense, cloud security, protection. USB protect, auto protect, you get all this stuff's uh, turned on. So we're just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, let's just see here what we have for memory usage, just kind of give you a rough idea. Kingsoft, Kingsoft. About 15 megs total, which isn't bad. Definitely not bad at all. Pretty good. So that's nice to see. Um, I also saw here that they have a process supervisor. I wonder what that is. Oh, there you go. That's pretty interesting. It can do find a risky process. You can end a process from it. That's kind of nice. So we'll see if we get any use out of this. So let's get testing here. These are the same links that we use in the Viper review because they're not that old. So let's see what we can do here. And okay, to be deleted. So it found that which is a, you know, a patched a patch virus I suspect so it did find that but I think I have to restart so let's see maybe it took care of it maybe not let's close this up Nope, let me restart and see if it comes back. After restart, I will be right back. Okay, so I restarted and it says uh, has deleted one virus doing reboot. So we can check the log here. So it looks like I got that one. Let's see if it did. And it looks like it did. So that's a nice job on the removal of that one, uh, one virus though not a nice job of keeping it off of the computer. Okay, so number two I think is what we were on. Of course. So let's open up uh, and let's see if it can find it this way so we don't have to reboot. It's checking that uh, VM tools and one more. So let me pause it and I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so it didn't find anything um, and it just started working again. Internet Explorer here. Looks like it didn't find anything on that page. So something is happening in the background. Internet Explorer has stopped working, of course. That's fine. We'll just close it up and open up a new, a new 
new one here. Okay, don't see anything off anything happening with that one. This is a different one, just so you guys know. It's not the same one. Okay, found that one, but it needs to be rebooted to clean. We will just keep going, and we will we'll reboot after um, we do these links. That one didn't work, of course. Jeez. Okay, looks like it killed it now, which is nice to see without having to reboot. That one's a fairly big installer. That one didn't work. Okay, I don't see anything happening from that one. Looks like that one's not working. That one's internet access. Sure, why not? Oh, looks like I got something there. It's not the same one twice. Nope. And the last two. Okay, looks like that fake, uh, antivirus got installed so now I'm gonna reboot and then once it's done rebooting I'm going to do a full system scan and uh, I will be back it looks like I found something when um, the full system scan is done so I will see you then okay so it finished scanning here and it found uh, one piece of malware here by the cloud and uh, it was in roaming heuristics and in the cloud so it is done scanning and supposedly the computer is secure so now I am going to do a scan with malwarebytes so I will be back when oh no before I do that I'm going to run CCleaner and then I'm going to do a scan with Malwarebytes. So I will be back when Malwarebytes is done scanning. Okay, so Malwarebytes just finished scanning and it found 41 things. Let's see what it found here. Okay, so we have a Trojan. One, two, a bunch of Trojans here. Fake alert. These are all files uh, in the temp folder. We also have uh, that file right there. A couple DLLs, some registry key changes. Um, let's see here, more registry keys. There's another file. Uh, rogue, rogue, rogue. A bunch of rogue stuff. And as far as I saw one that said memory, there's a, something in memory right now, a Trojan. Malware Trace, Hijack, Backdoor. So a bunch of stuff in there. And because there's something in memory, I'm going to reboot. And then I'm going to come back and do a scan with uh, Hitman Pro. See if it finds anything else. So I will be right back. Okay, one interesting thing here. I couldn't get an internet connection going. And I, um, I realized that apparently something changed the... Um, 
change me to a proxy server. So it was probably trying to feed me through a local uh, program that was going to serve me spam or who knows what else. Um, so if I turn this off, I should now be able to get an internet connection. I actually decided I'm going to do Norton Power Racer first. So just an FYI to people who maybe have malware and don't have an internet connection, that's always a good spot to check to see if that uh, has been changed. So I'm going to be back when this is done scanning. Okay, so it looks like Norton uh, found a shell extension, a DLL. It's probably left over from that fake um, Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. I want to make sure it's not a false positive. That is a false positive. Whew. I, I, I thought about that. I, I remembered KV menu. Okay, so here is a false positive from Norton Pot Eraser. So you got to be careful and check all your files. So this is a reporting that um, it's bad. <laughs> right. So. Um, Norton Power Racer gets didn't find anything that she shouldn't have found, so I'm gonna do Hitman Pro, and I will be right back. Okay, so Hitman Pro didn't find anything. Found a tracking cookie, and that's that super anti-spyware um, that I use. So let's see if there's any rootkits just for the hell of it, and I might as well do a scan with super anti-spyware while I'm here. So. Don't see anything out of the ordinary, so that's good to see. So I'm going to do a scan with Super Anti Spyware, and I will be back when this is done. Okay, so Super Anti Spyware finished uh, cleaning, and look at that, it found uh, a leftover file and a, a registry key. So you can see why I say that um, cleaning a system is much harder than keeping a system clean. And even with all these applications that I have, you know, one, two, three, four apps, there probably, there could definitely still be things left over. Um, so, I mean, I just use these for testing, but there definitely always could be things left over. So, uh, there you go. There's my review on Kingsoft. Um, at this point in time, there's much better free antivirus solutions out there. And um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good night and take care.